Right. I don't know, I must have expand. Went too far. YouTube looking out for you. Here we go. This is the type of equipment that I'm using here in western Minnesota to in order to receive uh, stations from 100 miles out to uh, 84 miles out. Um, basically this is the channel master. This is where you split your signal and you're not going to lose any signal by by this. I mean this is going to amplify your signal so I I wouldn't use any splitters except for something that's electrical so you don't lose weak signals to maintain them. And then uh, let's see all this is. Might be a little dark. Plug them both in. And that's what I'm using um, to maintain those signals here in western Minnesota in Candy, Ohio County. Now I'll take you outside and uh, show you the antenna setup. Basically Denny's antenna service. I bought this antenna at. Might be a little hard to see. Not sure if it's picking up. Try to get out of the sun. Basically, I'm going this way with it. That's about the area that the antenna's facing. And you even can see there's like a, a hill out there. So that's got to go over that. And when you hook, put up the antenna, basically put it on the opposite side on your pole barn of the broadcaster. So if the broadcasters are east of you, put it on the west side of your pole barn and try that. And you should be able to get signal for about, uh, oh, I suppose 84 miles or even 100 miles out. And metal's a good conductor, so if you got a metal pole barn, um, the pole barn would act like a satellite, and your antenna basically would act like the transponder to pull in those stations. Um, so, um, this is almost like a, I think of it as a, a well, trying to, re, try to, trying to capture water, but I'm trying to capture signal. So this is basically what I'm using. And you can see it's not very far up in order to maintain s stations 100 miles out. The top antenna, that's pointed at uh, Channel 12 in Mankato. And like I say, I'm in Candy, Ohio County here on the uh, northeast corner. And uh, I'm re receiving uh, Channel 12 out of Mankato. And then those other two state antennas are pointed towards Shoreview. And I'm receiving those stations. Plus it's also picking up the channels in Wilmer. And they're not, and this antenna is not even pointed that way. But uh, it's probably because those amplifiers are pulling, basically pulling that stuff in. And then you got that amplifier, and I call that amplifier like your water pump. That's going to maintain that signal. So that's like your pump right there. And it's basically you got your coax cables coming down, and I consider them like your water lines. Pumping water, maintaining a maintaining pressure. If you want to maintain like a hundred psi of pressure, put on an amplifier and 
and then put on that splitter and then you'll be able to maintain your signal through the coax cable so that's basically what I'm using right there thanks for watching